Hello folks, All Outdoor One here. Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at a recently purchased piece of kit called the Fjelduken Original German Norge. I hope my pronunciation did it justice. The Fjelduken Original is basically a poncho slash tarp slash multi-use item. I purchased this one from bushgear.co.uk and I believe they're the only importer at the moment into uh, the UK. Um, there are other versions, uh, models of this bag, but this is the original lightweight version. Um, the other models include uh, linings, which increase the seasonal capabilities of the bag. This version comes in the mountain uh, camo. I really actually like this pattern. I think it does blend in nicely with uh, surroundings, especially woodland environments and obviously mountains apparently. Um, can't comment on that, but in a woodland environment, I would say that this works pretty well. Each one comes in its own bag as the bag is awesome. I'll go into that in a moment, but um, yeah, I'll just get the poncho out. So this is what it looks like when it's on. You've got two zippered sleeves here on either side, which in bad weather or when you don't need to use your hands, for example, you're just walking and just keep your arms inside. Still gives you enough movement to be able to walk freely in. If you unzip slightly, you can use it as a proper poncho, keep the rain off you. I reckon it would also work as a hide to some extent. If you're on a stall, for example, just crouching low, you know, you can blend in quite nicely. Only reservations I have is you do look like a um, scary army guy in the woods. Also known as Woodland Wookie. A black version would have been nice, but they don't make them just in this um, wood, uh, mountain camo. In the back here. I've tied a knot because this is actually designed to be worn um, with a Bergen rucksack um, which lifts the material at the back of the floor. But if you're, if you're uh, wearing it without a Bergen then um, the manufacturer suggests you tie a knot in the back to keep it off the ground, free from dirt and minimising wear and tear. Fjordukan Original is also supplied with armies. <laughs> As the manufacturer says, what else do you call them? They're tubes in the same mountain camo. So basically you just slip them over your jacket or whatever you're wearing. Your arms are now also insulated and waterproofed. It was raining last night, I did test them out. They work very nicely to be honest. The wind blocking capabilities of this material are really amazing, I have to say. And it is completely waterproof. It is not breathable, um, but no water can get through this material basically. So those are the armies. When you're around camp, for example, um, yeah, I wouldn't really use these. You know, I've got a poncho um, tarp over the overhead anyway, if it's raining. But definitely a nice touch. In the front pocket of the bag here, there's another Velcro pouch which contains another very interesting item if you get into any trouble and you need to signal for help and you've got an extremely brightly colored 
orange flag panel. With a reflective strip down the middle which really does light up nicely in torchlight for example so you can be quickly and easily found I'm just hitting it with the strobe at the moment or maybe more appropriately SOS but you know that's even in the daylight and you can see just how reflective that strip is obviously you can uh, hang the flag horizontally so it becomes a ground to air signal as well the flag is very well made to the same exacting standards as the actual poncho itself so um, let's focus on the poncho a little more on the inside it has this silver reflective lining which reflects a vast amount of your body heat back onto you really multi-use item like this can be set up in many different configurations the corners have these really good rivet eyelets here the construction is absolutely tip-top quality well thought out obviously all the zips are YKK the middle also has eyelets okay, you can use it as a windbreak you can use it as your traditional um, tarp but you can actually zip up all sides of this bag so basically you're in a bivy or emergency mountain shelter for a bigger person they recommend the larger bag but as I always carry a tent with me, this is just a great multi-use item for me. As far as my use of this item is concerned, it's basically replacing what I normally would have carried as a um, raincoat. You know, just a nice uh, jacket basically with a um, rain hood, which was uh, lined, weighed in at, at about one and a half kilos. This weighs in at 600 grams. So there's a definite weight saving and actually this is a much more useful item in my opinion. When zipped up fully and you're sitting inside it in a kind of cross-legged position you can develop a massive temperature difference between the inside of the bag and the outside. In tests um, <clears throat> they've noted at minus 14 degrees C uh, just with body heat alone the inside bag temperature rises to positive 9 degrees Celsius so that's a 23 degrees Celsius rise in temperature which is massive in terms of survival Importantly, please don't underestimate the size of this as a tarp. I think it's 2 meters 80 by 1 meter 50. Very good sized tarp. Obviously, really works well as a fire reflector. as a screen behind or in front of your fire to reflect the heat back onto yourself sorry folks it's pretty nippy and I have to get this back on so um, let me just touch on some of the other uses for this poncho um, when doubled up and zipped up it can be used as a emergency stretcher there are examples of people using them as wind sails for um, skis and small boats they're good as a water collecting aid can definitely store a large amount of water in the poncho 
given that it can support you know a couple of hundred kilos of weight you can definitely get a good supply of water in it as I already mentioned as a bivy shelter you could even use them for your pets and basically loads of other uses that I can't think of right now Another great feature of the German bag is the fact that it can be worn either horizontally or vertically. So, you know, you've got instant access to your waterproof gear. But also, I found that when worn vertically, sorry, folks, bad planning led me to a battery failure in the woods. And um, so I have had to continue the rest of um, the review indoors. Um, what I was going to say was that when worn um, vertically, the bag itself makes for a great little dump pouch. So, you know, getting little pieces of um, kindling and tinder, just putting tools and equipment in here, for example, a sheath knife or folding knife, you know, whilst you're working. And you just need your hands free for something else you can just quickly put items in there it's a really sturdy pouch that it comes in um, and it's got a good degree of waterproofing to it as well so it can also help you to keep various bits of equipment dry even in a relatively short amount of testing time you know I was out in the woods for about 24 hours I could tell that this is a really good piece of kit and I've decided to incorporate it into my EDC for the woods. Sometimes pieces of kit just come along and kind of blow your mind and cause you to um, reevaluate and reassess the rest of your equipment. And this is definitely one of those bits of kit. I think I'll soon start experimenting with its um, capabilities as a sleeping bag. So rather than having to carry a rain jacket, sleeping bag, tarp, I'll just carry this a minimalistic kind of approach to uh, wild camping and um, well, I'll see how successful that is. If you check out the actual website um, Fjelduken they've analyzed <coughs> scientifically the capabilities of this bag and of the whole range of bags the thermo versions as well and scientists have concluded that basically <laughs> it's impossible to freeze to death in this bag. I think they tested it in a wind tunnel, uh, a temperature controlled wind tunnel, uh, and they got the temperature down to minus 88 degrees centigrade. And that was, I think it was minus 40 degrees centigrade actual temperature and the wind chill making up the other 44 degrees, uh, sorry, 48 degrees to achieve that minus 88 degrees and the temperature inside the bag was I think it was 66 degrees warmer something like this so by my estimations that makes it uh, what, minus 26 and basically in this wind tunnel they um, tested uh, slots of I think it was three hours um, so they tested several people without any protection whatsoever, followed by the various model three hours in the various models of the um, Jervan bag. In every instance, they were able to maintain their core body temperature. So that's impressive stuff. If you want the full details, I'll put the links to the um, to the published results below. So back to um, the point of of the bag. Um, it also, as I said previously in the video, has this um, secondary uh, little pouch on the front which contains the uh, orange survival flag signal panel, however you want to refer to it. And um, But actually, as I've decided to incorporate this into my wilderness kit, I've actually decided to 
incorporate a small survival kit into this pocket here which I'll go into in another video but uh, yeah it just makes sense to have some small survival items in this pocket as far as I'm concerned sorry going back to the um, scientific research etc they just in every instance of testing found that this just worked and certain search and rescue organizations are suggesting that this should be an integral part of everyone's kind of wilderness kit so i'm rambling on now um but this is really a great 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 technical piece of kit and um i just can't um, bang on about its virtues enough and i know i've missed out a lot of information still even though this is quite a lengthy video now so you'll definitely be seeing me using this out in the woods every single time from now on pretty much um, just a great multi-use item I hope I haven't bored you all to death with this one um, but I'm excited about this product and um, and its future applications in my wild camping trips please find all the relevant links underneath the video and this has been another All Outdoor One review your support is genuinely appreciated hope you like this video this product gets a double thumbs up from me you guys take care this is all out the one signing out for now thanks for watching see you around